Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video is just, it's its something, all right, it's something. I don't really have much to talk about. All the subjects I really wanted to talk about are bigger videos. I have a lot of big videos in the works and I'm not gonna be able to get it done tonight. So I'm just gonna make a video talking about the movie I saw yesterday. I am actually currently working on a movie review of this movie. I don't have enough time to get it done tonight. So I just wanna talk about it a little bit and that being Saw 10. Uh, now, spoilers, I'm gonna talk about probably spoilers uh, in this video so if you don't want to continue watching go ahead but i just wanted to kind of talk about it because of how much i love the saw series okay this is a series i'm extremely passionate about this this series literally puts a smile on my face it's like this it's like it's just you know when you see charlie put a smile on his face in the in random moments in the video yeah that's that's the smile i put on every time i see this movie every time i walk into the theater every time i put on the movie i have actually i actually have a fucking disc that has all seven movies <laughs> in it i have an entire disc with all seven of them and after watching this 10th one i'm gonna go watch all seven of them right now because i just it just puts the biggest smile on my face i love this movie series more than probably anything in the world okay saw uh genuinely brings me joy and i know that a lot of people are probably gonna say the movies fucking <laughs> the movies suck and technically you're right right i think that you know the movies past three start to get a little bit tedious and they kind of they tilt her into the same shit right it's the same plot twist every single time Time, but you know what? I do not care. I love these movies with a burning fucking passion. There's no reason for there to be 10, yet there's 10 of them, and every single one of them outbeats the next, with the plot twist being even better each fucking time. I don't understand how it can get any better than this, but this movie, I will say that it's years past the last Saw, which I count 7 as like the last last Saw, because 8 and 9 were obviously Jigsaw, and 9 being Spiral, two kind of separate movies. They're not really too correlated to the actual story at hand, but this one was actually interesting, to say the least. They got the old people back from the original cast. Now, this one's set before 3, before John Kramer's death, so we get to see a little bit more of John Kramer, and I'm assuming they did that because, you know, you want, you know, people know Saw for Kramer, right? People know Saw for that guy. They also have Amanda, and they also have the detective, um, which makes me very, very happy that they were in the movie. Uh, the detective gets a little bit of a cameo, but I really hope that they actually continue making the series. I literally said this to my fiance. I really hope it goes on for like 11, 12, 13. I hope it goes on for 20, dude. I hope this movie just never stops. I hope there's more plot twists so far down the line that it just, it just becomes almost a nothing burger. The plot just continues to thicken every single time and the number of bodies that are collected just keeps going, dude. And I, I don't know what to tell you. I love it. I, I cannot get enough of Saw. And like I said, I want to leave reviews for the movie review video video that I'm making, but I just wanted to talk about my passion for it because in general, I think this movie series in general is one of the best ever. I, I know, I know that's a big, big claim here, but I don't know. It's because it's the mixture of, I love horror movies. I don't know if I've said that before. I love horror movies, movies, horror movies make me just happy. You know, I like being able to have that adrenaline rush when something scares the shit out of me. I, I also think that the most beautiful movies, the most masterful movies, you know, beautiful masterpieces come from movies that are thrillers, horrors, just in general, right? We're talking about movies like Hereditary, Midsommar, movies that genuinely fuck with your brain so much, right? When I go to a, go to see a movie, I want to be fucking amazed by the end of it. And when it comes to movies like Hereditary, shit like that literally fucking destroys me, dude. Like I'm I'm done with it and I'm like, damn, you know, that that made an impact on my brain, literally. So yeah, horror definitely gets me going better than any other uh, genre. Of course, I love a good, good comedy, right? But horror really takes the cake. And I think this series takes the cake most for this 10th one, the lighting is a lot better than the old movies. I know that the lighting in the old movies is like iconic as fuck. It's like they turned the fucking dial of cold all the way down and they just put as much green as they physically could in it and it looks horrible. Uh, but And that's what makes it great. But they changed the colors in this one to look better. And to be honest with you, it, it should be that way. It just looks really nice in this movie. And the only issue I have is I feel like the people Kramer kills are not people you're rooting for, right? The people that he kills in all the other movies, even though they're bad people, you know, you still feel bad for their deaths. You feel bad for the people at hand. You feel bad for these people in general, but these people right here, the, these individuals, I just don't, like, I don't have 
remorse, right? I have no remorse for these individuals, right? I, I just don't. The, these people deserve their deaths, to be honest with you. Maybe, maybe like one or two characters don't exactly deserve it, which give you that sense of like, yeah, I'm rooting for you. But at the same time, they're minuscule characters, right? This movie's focus is mostly on Kramer and the big boss lady, right? The Swedish lady. And that bitch is way worse than Kramer, right? She's even worse, which it felt like it was trying to be like a, a villain arc, you know, like there's this villain when in reality, most Saw movies are just, you know, picks a guy who's being like exploitive or a bad person and just throws them in the ring. And I think that in this one, they exploit people, but they do it because they want to hurt people. They want people to die. They do not care, right? And, and in other circumstances, it's because it's either their job or, you know, maybe fame gets to them, right? It's people who, you know, like they're human still. This woman is not human. She's a rich millionaire who literally wants people dead for her own cause, right? To make money. So I don't really have a remorse feeling for her. And throughout the entire movie, you're rooting for Kramer. But at the same time, I, I, I feel like the reason why the movie actually has decent ratings is because people want to root for Kramer. People want to root for Jigsaw at this point because it feels good to root for Jigsaw, right? Why would you root against the killer at this point? 10 movies in and you're rooting against John Kramer? Are you kidding me? Why would you do that? Especially when this is set as a prequel, it just kind of feels, it feels strange. They still have the same aspects as the old movies. They still have the same plot twist at the end. And it just, it's like a nostalgia trip. It's beautiful and I love it. And I just, again, I just had to rant a little bit about Saw because of how much I love it. But anyways, guys, I don't want to keep rambling on about this movie series and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.